Greetings, Slateners, and welcome back to Ralse Plays Undertale. So, last episode, we entered the ruins and met Miss Toriel, who is not a teacher, but she is some sort of guardian. And in this episode, we meet a ghost. Okay. They're asleep. I feel bad. I feel like I'm gonna wake them up. Are they gone yet? Oh, they're awake, actually. Never mind. Okay, uh, hi. Sorry. C could you move, please? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Uh, I guess I got no choice. Here comes Napstabluk. Okay, uh, Napstabluk. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Did it just react to the thing? Wait, hold up. Can the monsters actually, like... Okay, um, let's, let's cheer on the sad boy. Give Napsabluk a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Oh, okay. Alright, looks just a little bit better, so maybe if we keep cheering them on, they'll be happy? You told Napsabluk a little joke. <laughs> oh, he's crying less. Okay, so that's good. Alright, let's, uh, let's cheer again. Napsabluk wants to show you something. Let me try. Alright, uh, oh, the tears are going upward. I call it Dapper Blook. Do you like it? Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm gonna cheer that on. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. I wanna give him a hug. He's so sweet. Okay, what's over here? There's a spider web. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay, uh, leave 7G in the web. Oh, I don't have 7G. Oh, shoot. Maybe if I go a little further ahead, I'll run into a monster. And they can give me some G after a battle. Oh, hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Well, thank you, Mr. Tori- L? Oh, hello, looks! Uh, let's check. Attack 6, defense 6. Don't pick on him. Family name, Iwalker. Looks, Iwalker. You're very clever. Please don't pick on me. Okay, I won't pick on you. Oh, boy! Okay, you say don't pick on you, and then you just come at me like that? Okay, I'm not gonna pick on you. Finally, someone gets it! Well, yeah, it said not to pick on you, so I figured that was simple enough. Okay, spare! Alright, five gold! Okay, so we can go back to that spider's web, and we can leave some gold there for them, because spiders need love too. Okay, 7G in the web. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut! Okay, I'm not going to complain about the donut, that's, that's pretty rad. Alright, so, let's go. And I'm seeing there's some holes. Uh, we go down one? I guess. Oh, there's a. S hey, Napsta. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Napsta Blue, you're a ghost. You should be able to get up. Go on without me. You're a ghost. You can just like float. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Yeah. Oh well. Oh, I see. There's like a switch. I need to flip. Uh, Migoth crawled up close. All right, I already know how to deal with the mold small. So let's actually let's uh check you. Me gosp. Seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Obey the over What the flying heck is an overmind? Okay, let's spare you. Swing your arms, baby. Oh, okay, so once you spare the mold small, that dude just chills out. Alright. Convenient. Alright. Down we go. And we hit the switch. I'm guessing that opens a door somewhere. Though I did see something interesting. I kind of want to investigate. There's a carrot. Oh, uh, it's a monster! Vegetoid came out of the earth. Okay, let's check. Attack 6, defense 6, serving size 1 monster, not monitored by the USDA. Farmed locally, very locally. Okay, so I'm being attacked by potatoes, carrots, and onions? Okay, uh, let's, uh, dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Okay, so what does that mean? Oh, literally, eat the green thing. I missed the green! Let's try to get the green. 
Okay. Your greens. Can I get a green? I want a green. Give me the pickle. Got the pickle. I think it was a pickle. Could have been a cucumber. Either way, I got the green. We're good. All right. That was the weirdest battle I've ever taken part of. Oh, wait, what? Okay. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, there's a green switch, blue switch, and red switch. Alright. And I remember that, I think. Green, red, there's a blue. Right. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay, so... Monster butt! Okay, so we gotta get rid of the Vegetoid first, so dinner. Okay. Just gotta dodge the carrot! Get that, get that, did it, did it! Spare! And then just kinda dance around with little Migosp over there. Dance away! And spare. Okay, so we gotta hit this blue switch. Okay, press it. Hear the clicking sound. Alright, around we go. And let's see. Let me just press the red switch, which is that one up there. So, press it. Ah, hello! Who is. Okay, don't pick on you. Someone gets it. Just gonna dodge your little weird circly things. Though, given the Luke Skywalker reference, I'm guessing he's using the Force. I'm gonna assume green switch. Cause blue, red, figured might as well get green. <sighs> you again? Okay, I'm not picking on you. There's probably like multiple Lukes out there. So this is just another one in the pack. Alright, spared, out of here. Alright, and we have made it to somewhere. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, there's a frog it. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame- On the toy knife. Okay. Not sure if this is going to be important later or not, but I'm going to hold on to it just in case. Not sure why it'd be important, because I don't think we need weapons. Alright, up we go. And we're- Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. And she's calling us. And she sees us. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Nope. Not a scratch. Impressive! But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this, but it was such a sweet gesture. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Nope, you kind of let the goat out of the bag. Come, small one. Alright, so small one is following, and small one's gonna save. Alright. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, that sounds delicious. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This woman is so sweet. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Can we just agree that she is best mom? Is something burning? Uh, make herself at home! Best mom, but definitely needs to work on her baking skills. Oh, that's sweet! The music changes when you turn off the light! Alright, let's see. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. Um, let's see what else? Look at all these cool toys. I don't interest you at all. I'd like to play with the toys. Alright, let's see. You've seen this type of plant before, but you don't know its name. Okay. There's another room. I'm guessing this is her room. Ah, the cactus! Truly the most sundere of plants! <laughs> Knowing what sundere means, that's kind of funny. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer! <gasps> oh, jeez! I, I didn't mean to look there. I'm so sorry! It's an encyclopedia for subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowers, plants in brown oblong sea pods, known more commonly as water sausages. I'm guessing that's that one plant. Definitely bigger than a twin size, but yeah, no kidding. Okay, it's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Okay, just a quick peek. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... <laughs> Boom! <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Oh, and it's a mirror. It's you! Well, no, it's not. It's uh, the child here that is named me. So, technically not right. Can we go on the bed? Yes, we can. Oh, 
Did she leave a slice of pie for us? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That was very nice of her. Alright. Let's move right along. Uh, hi, Miss Toriel. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. I've got good news for you. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still! <laughs> that face. <laughs> I love that face. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? I'm guessing they are trying to get out of here, so when can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I get the sense we're supposed to get out of here. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat. Well, I mean monster portions, so yeah. Uh, how do we exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Well, she went running. I guess we have to follow her. Alright, let's follow Toriel. Alright. There she is. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Oh, shoot! She's determined. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, I feel like I'm not supposed to, though. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. They've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Brutal. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. You mean the flower guy? No way! He's too much of a softy! I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Uh, there's no way. Asgore's such a softy. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm really sorry. I don't mean to piss you off. I want to leave so badly. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove you to me that you are strong enough to survive. Oh no. Oh. Attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. Okay, whoa! Okay, so she's got fire magic. Okay, let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Okay, I guess we gotta dodge fire. Literally! Ouch! Can we spare? Oh, that looks like pain! That looks like a lot of pain. I'm just gonna keep trying to spare. Because I don't want to fight this sweet woman. She's so sweet. Okay. Let's just keep sparing. That seems like the best solution right now. I, I do not want to fight. I really don't. She seems confused by my actions. I guess we've got to keep this going. What are you doing? Trying to not fight you. Also, I just realized she has beautiful scarlet eyes. Huh. Interesting detail. Attack or run away. Well, I'm trying to do those things, but... Uh, just keep fighting. What are you proving this way? That I don't want to fight? I figured that was obvious enough. Even though you keep chugging fireballs at me. Fight me or leave. Well, you keep blocking the door so I can't. Stop it. Well, I would if you would, you know, stop chucking literal fireballs! Stop looking at me that way! What if you would just... Uh, okay, uh, I'm down to four health. Go away! Well, I would if you would open the friggin' door! Okay, just keep sparing. She's gotta stop eventually, right? I mean, she has to run out of magic at some point! She looks so sad. Wait. The fireball is actually moving away from me? I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. 
You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. I'm not crying. No, I'm not. I'm a tough goat. I'm not crying. No, you're just hearing things. You're totally hearing things. I'm not crying. No. Moving along. This is a long hallway. Why is it so freaking long? It's stupid. Anyways, through the door. Oh, not you. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's killed or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. Wait, this time? The heck is he talking about? But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. I really don't like that flower. Freaky little... Little... I don't even know what. And so, to the underground we go. That was all the flippin' intro? Holy moly. That's one hell of a way to start things off. Okay then. Uh, here we go. I guess. Now we're in a snowy field. Alright. We're in a snowy field with a bunch of trees. Not sure what that's about. There's a stick on the ground. That just got cracked all of a sudden! Okay. Not liking this. I love the background for it though. Like, um, we're playing this on the Switch, and uh, it's kind of nice that. What was that? There's someone there! I saw you! Anyways, moving on. Uh, the backgrounds are really nice on the, the console ports. It's kind of cool. Anywho, moving along, I'm not seeing whatever figure that was. There's a gate. Why am I stopping? Why am I not moving? It's the shadowy guy! Uh, hello? Who are you? What do you want with me? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. I don't know if I want to! Okay, I'm gonna shake your hand. Let's do it. What? The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Isn't that the guy who runs the one shop up above? Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic! Wait, didn't he mention his brother, like, in... Oh, we finally get to meet him! Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Aw, at least he tried. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is kind of conveniently shaped, isn't it? Alright. Okay, there's Papyrus. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. Oh, I like him already. He's spunky. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Don't! Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? Oh, you are so precious. I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, oh, you are so cute, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. 
Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. We get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans, come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Says he hates the jokes, but... <laughs> He's a dork and I love it. Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I wouldn't mind. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Even though you just went the other way. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay, safe. Okay, so tune in next time as we go through this winter wonderland. Anyways, till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am trudging through the snow of this winter wonderland. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being YMe2021, Sebastian Canino, Jay Solman, Sonic Star 21, Sather Max, Sonic Destroyer 12, Timid Recluse, Kylie Childs, Gramelion, Aaron Lena, Dylan Sailor, Hitsuyona Corrento, Princess Funnybone, Honor Higgins, Aishiba88, Jesse Barbo 6, Jesse Alvarez, Mighty Glorified, Nagi Oki, Panda475, Duel 1414, Happy Hans 999, Horizon Dreamer, Kitty Honey Jade, Ruby the Wolf, Zero Fox MC, and Zodiac Demirge. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and just chance and a chance to choose a Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Rose, and I'll bring darkness to your light again next time. Toodaloo!